I have survived thousands of days in an infinite hardcore Minecraft world. But building cool things here is easy. I have all the blocks I could ever need. But what if you have nothing? Welcome to Skyblock. In the previous episode, I made a mob farm, cured villagers and got an iron farm. The goal for this week is getting a trading setup to level up everything about my Skyblock world. I want full diamond armor, tools and enchantments. Okay, I want to get trading, but these two guys up there, they used to be zombies, so they're going to give me huge discounts if I trade with them. But before we can start trading, I need to get some stuff to trade with, and I also need to build a new platform. I just realized that I have access to iron now, so I can make shears, and that means we can start using leaves as temporary blocks. These are so fast to collect. I want to build a platform over on the other side of the iron farm. I think we stack three leaves, like that. And then we have to do the same at the other side and line out with the top of those. I think I'll just put the platform here. It's not like I have a master plan or anything. While it's nighttime, I'm gonna use some of the bone meal from Mob Farm to get as many carrots as I need to get started. Okay, I have plenty of carrots and it's morning again, so let me build a platform where I can trade with the villagers. I swear, you guys have no idea how much I hate shifting over the void. Okay, let's fill in the inside and put some torches down. Unfortunately, the rest of the day got absolutely wasted because my zombie had despawned in the iron farm or the golem had killed him. I'm not sure what happened, but this guy had to replace him. Literally it took me all day. It sucked. And with fences out, I'm not going to build a new platform over the void. We'll have to continue tomorrow. So the villager trading setup is going to go over here, but I'm just going to put a chest down with some materials. Since all I made last week was industrial garbage and today I want to make something that actually looks cool. I'll get some of the stone that I pre-smelted out of the starter house and a lot of these birch logs that I've been collecting because these look really cool if you strip them. Let's fill in the center of this area with stone brick slabs and then I'll need spots for the villagers to stand in where I can trade with them. Let me use some birch pillars to lay this out. That would be cool and we'll do that in all the corners. Okay, that should work. Now, let me build up a little bit and I'll get a roof so it can keep working even when it's nighttime. I'll just fill that in with stone brick slabs as well. Okay, it's time to transport these villagers. I think I'll just build a little platform up here and then I'll try to get them in a boat. Hey buddy, you wanna, you, you wanna come to my trading hub? It's, it's gonna be awesome. You're gonna love it there. Wait, I have a trick. I'll just build back here. And then if we build a bed up here like this, he should just go, <laughs> there he goes. Oh my God, that guy's dumb. Um, let's get him to a trading hall. Oh my God, the noise from this spider farm is killing me. I think I'm just gonna line it up here. I'll kill these spiders, but after that, I think I have enough string for now. The thing is, we can get wool from shepherds later on. So I'm just gonna light up the farm where you don't need this thing anymore. I'm a little worried this guy is just gonna fall into the void, so let me extend this a little bit. And then we should be able to lure him up there just using a workstation. I'll just put some walls here so he doesn't randomly go the wrong way. And let's try and get him out of the boat. Oh, look at him go. This one's excited to be a farmer. But do you have the right trade? Ooh, discounted carrots. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Um, let me get some carrots and we'll lock this in. Okay, dude, I got the wares. Here's the carrots, give me those. There we go. This is the beginning of a massive breakthrough, guys. Trading is gonna change everything. Let me just get this guy in the corner right here. I think that should work. And now I put a trap door in front of him, just like that, break the boat, and hopefully he's gonna stick in there. Yo, that works perfect. Okay, we'll put a composter there, and now we're in business. Let's get trading. I'll just take all the carrots that I've already made and then we'll get a bunch of emeralds to start with. That's my starting capital right there. Okay, now I want to get an armorer. Armorers can sell us diamond armor in the long run, but more importantly, if we get lucky, they will buy iron ingots. And I have a lot of those because the iron farm is the only automated thing I have right now. Okay, I'll lure this guy up there using a bed and then in the morning we can get trading. Dude, why are you slacking off? Early bird gets the worm, get trading. I, I have emeralds for you. Oh my God, this guy. Okay, it took me several hours to convince the man, but he's ready. Okay, sir, I would like to buy all your finest iron helmets, only the best of the best. He thinks I like his stuff, I'm, I'm throwing it out. Screw this. I will have all your chainmail boots. 
Yeet! Chainmail chest plates, we're moving up. And now we should have something I actually care about. There we go, diamond leggings, blast, feather falling boots. Yo, that's kind of epic. And I'll get the leggings as well. And then... I'm just gonna put this on. And now we should have the rest of what I want. Show me, dude. Diamond chest plate, diamond helmet. Yo, these discounts are so clutch. And with that, guys, day 51, I have a full kit of diamond armor and skyblock. Decent. All right, let me get... Wait, what? No way. There's a wandering trader. <laughs> oh, please have good stuff. These guys can make all the difference. What do you have? Okay, Pulso is actually cool. That's new dirt. And the dark oak saplings. I gotta get some emeralds. I'll just bone meal a bunch more carrots. Oh, we gotta move fast here. I don't know how long this guy has been in the boat already. I got carrots, I got pumpkins, I got melons. We're selling everything. 29 emeralds. It's a shame that this guy does not buy iron ingots. Okay, well, let's um let's see what we can get at a wandering trader. Four dark oak saplings, and then the rest is nine pots of if I can buy more puzzle, I really want to. I will just bone meal more carrots and hope that I'm in time. I have seven more emeralds, so that makes for six more puzzle. So that's 50 new dirt blocks, which is actually kind of big right now. You guys have been telling me in the comments to move my gold farm down to Y0 so I can get more gold and then buy gravel from... All of that scares me. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I have a different plan. I'm gonna wait for a wandering trader to deliver me moss blocks and spruce saplings and then I'll get Pozzol and moss. Lots of it. But we'll have to wait for 1DT. I trust. Yo, I finally hear a chicken in the mob farm. I've been waiting for this forever. I, I gotta get this guy out. He's not down here though, so I'll just kill these guys and I think I'm gonna very carefully break into the side of the mob farm. Okay, he's not on that layer down there. Let me try the next one. That's just skeletons. I think we gotta go up one. Okay, I think he's on the top layer. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yo, he's following. How, how do we catch this guy? I think I'll just shoot the baby zombie. Oh, this is scary. I don't want to kill the jacket. Okay, that does it. I think I'll put him on a lead. I think that will work. Let me get one from the Wandering Trader. Yo, dude, I'm really stoked about your trades, but I'm gonna need that other thing. Okay, that got messy. I have what I need though. I'll just put a fence down here and then grab the lead. And then you are gonna be chilling here until I find you a friend. It's gonna be epic. Okay, now that I have some more dirt, let me place that over here. And then finally, these pumpkins can grow. And I'll take the sand and move the sugarcane farm over to the iron farm. And you know what? I think I have enough cactus for now, so I'm gonna take these as well. And then I'll use the sand for more sugarcane. Plant the stuff, and now this can get me a lot of paper, which I'm probably gonna be needing later. For my next villager, I think I want a librarian. And preferably, I want a book that gives me fortune, because fortune is really important right now. Let me get some I No! Where did my chicken go? Oh, that took me so long to find one. Okay, time to level up. Let's take the next villager. What do you mean you don't want to go? I gotta make some space. Let me just join you in the boat. There we go. Okay, you're gonna be a librarian, I think. I got the guy up here, but I think I'm gonna make him a toolsmith instead. I realized that if I can get fortune on the tool, I don't really need to get the book. And that would save the librarian for something more important. Okay, let's hope this guy gives us something useful. I'm gonna buy up all his stone axes so he gets to level 2. I'm gonna throw them into the void though, because this is shoddy quality at best. I hate it. Let's see what he has. Yo! <laughs> nice! Oh, I was so hoping we were gonna get this. Iron ingots for an emerald. Four iron ingots. That is gonna be my money maker. Okay, now he unlocks an Iron X Efficiency too. That's kind of nice. I'm definitely going to use those. Okay, now let's check his Expert Traits. Fortune 1! Okay, that is actually a bigger deal than you guys realize. I just need to get four of these shovels, and then I have Fortune 3. 
Now, why is Fortune 3 important? Because even though it's on a shovel, it is gonna give me so many carrots. You can harvest carrots with a fortune tool and you're still gonna get the bonus, even if it's the wrong type of tool. The other thing is you can use fortune on leaves. And again, the tool doesn't matter. So I can now plant the dark oak tree. And if I break all the leaves using my fortune three shovel, I'm gonna be sure to get more saplings so I don't lose them after the first tree. But first, I need to make sure that I get the emeralds to buy two more shovels. So I'm gonna take this dirt from the pumpkin farm that I moved and I'm gonna go back to growing lots of carrots. I'll just replant the field over here and then we're gonna grow those out with bone meal and we should get a bunch of emeralds really, really quickly. Okay guys, check this out. I have 25 carrots in my offhand. I'm gonna plant all of those, bone meal them and then harvest them up with fortune. Look what happens. After replanting, I still have 67. I think I got like a stack and 20 from this one field. And that isn't even Fortune 3 yet. This is Fortune 2, so it's gonna get a lot better. Fortune is a game changer for this Skyblock world. Let me just sell the carrots for emeralds. Oh wait, I'm gonna put trapdoors up here so these guys stop jumping. That's super annoying. Right, now let me sell the carrots I just got for emeralds and a couple of pumpkins as well. And then I think I should have enough emeralds to buy two Fortune 1 shovels, combine those, combine them with the one I already have, and then we'll have Fortune 3, which is epic. That's the biggest milestone for today. There we go. I'm breaking 3, efficiency 4, Fortune 3. That is a big one. I got another villager over here, and I think I'm gonna make this guy a librarian after all. I just feel like rolling for books. I want to make sure that I find a good first book. Quick charge 3 is not it. Let's see what this... Mending. 25 emeralds. Oh god, mending is kind of cracked, but everything I have now, I got it with emeralds, so... It's almost too hard to pass up on it, but there are other things I think are more useful right now. Give me something good, please. I just passed up on mending. Did I do a dumb thing? I feel like I did a dumb thing. I just threw away a mending book. Oh, I'm still not getting anything good. Bookshelves. I've been doing this for a good few minutes. Oh, silk touch for nine. What do I... Melons. I can silk touch melons. Yeah, this is worth it. This is going to make me a lot of emeralds. I'm, I'm going to buy that. Oh, I just locked it in. I just realized I don't have more books. So I'm not going to be able to make another librarian until after I get a wandering trader for leather. Well, it is what it is. I have Silk Touch now. That's a pretty big deal. That means I got to restructure a farm here and make sure that we add more melons over on this side. I switch away from the birch trees for now. I think I have enough logs and I really want to have a bunch of these oak leaves because they are actually my favorite leaf block in the game. We're 57 days in and the villager trades are going so well that I'm almost getting ready to start building. And I think I want to use some dark oak logs. So it's time to plant the first dark oak tree, which is a little bit of a scary moment, but I have fortune three, so I should be absolutely fine. Let's see if we can get enough saplings to make another tree after we destroy this one. Now, do oh, we got one already. Doing this with a shovel feels super weird, but we gotta do it for the fortune. It about doubles the chance of getting saplings. I'm so glad I did that. I came out of it with 15 saplings, which means new tree and plenty of spares. Dude got sharpness five as a second trade, which is kind of wild, but for now I'm just gonna buy lanterns to level him up. See what he gets for his third. I'm doing a little problem solving here because my iron farm is broken again. I don't quite know why this keeps happening, it's not this, although that was a good tip, but there's a slab there. I think the iron golem keeps killing them or something. Let's get this guy into the farm. Open a trap door, build new stairs up there, and then we just gotta lure him in. I'm gonna hide behind the pumpkins and then he should egg. No, 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 don't aggro on him. Okay, we try again. He's gonna aggro right up there. Oh, he's aggroed on me. Well, at least the iron golem is out of the way. Let's try again. Okay, buddy, you gotta just come over here. No, don't, egg oh my God. Things went on like that for half a day, but I 
finally going in here. Now let's get rid of the stairs. Okay. <laughs> this works again. Now we... Oh, this is scary. I really don't want to hit the iron golem. If I do that, it could literally kill me. I don't want to risk it. We got to be careful. Okay, one more block. Now we should go into the middle. Okay, we're good. Oh, phantoms. This whole thing was so messy. I really hope it doesn't break anymore. This is the third zombie that I'm putting into the farm. We'll see. So this librarian for his third trade got efficiency 4. He's got sharpness 5, efficiency 4 and silk touch, which is kind of insane actually. But it's time to start leveling up the weaponsmith now. This guy is selling iron axes for 3. That's actually the cheapest trade you can have to level them up. So I did. And this guy was kind of epic. He buys iron ingots, which I'm really, really glad he does. Also, he had a diamond X and breaking to efficiency too, which is kind of what I wanted. But more importantly, once I got him to master level, he offered me a sword that has smite 3 and sweeping edge 3, which is pretty much perfect for my mob farm. I mean, check this out. Now, all I really want is looting and then we're golden. But I can't really worry about that right now. I have most of my goals met for today. I have full diamond armor, tools and weapons and some pretty decent enchantments too. That means there's just one thing I still want to do. So, my Skyland? Yeah, that's a word now, deal with it. It just looks terrible. I started out pretty great with the starter house, but since then I've just been making progress in industry and the most ugly mob farm to ever exist. So it's time to get building. But before we really start doing that, there are still villagers that can help me out with the building as well. So I got this mason who's selling me bricks, which make for brick blocks and those are pretty epic but there's more we could get from them like chiseled stone bricks and if we level them up further we get to some rare blocks this guy sells lime glazed terracotta which is a pretty outrageous block and then for his master trades he's gonna sell quartz blocks i got one more villager over here we're gonna set him up as a mason as well and right next to the mason i also set up a shepherd but i accidentally had my recording paused for a minute there are a couple more blocks that I have to collect from storage or cut as trees and then I think we're ready to start building tomorrow. First let me get some dark oak because I'm gonna use a bunch of that for building. Okay, let's start out by leveling up this mason, sorting out my stuff and generally just making sure that I have all the blocks I'm gonna be needing. Bunch of shears from the shepherd and now he has green wool and lime wool. I guess I'll buy both of those. Can definitely be useful. Oh, this guy has dripstone blocks. Yo, that's actually kind of a big deal. Because dripstone blocks are how you get infinite lava. Now I just need to set up a dripstone farm. Some dripstone there and then we need water on top of it. And I think that's gonna work. Okay, after about 10 minutes I realized this is not how this works. I still need to get points of dripstone from a wandering trader. And then it will work. Right, so the first thing I gotta do to start building is put a staircase in here so we can actually get to the second floor. Stone brick stairs and then chiseled stone bricks as a support. And these slabs have gotta go, but that's level two. Make some oak pillars here for supports. Okay, and now that we are up here, I think I'm gonna build some sort of tower because it will look cool. Okay, from my house, this is the view of the area. Yeah, a tower up there. That could definitely work. And these farms, I think I'm going to get rid of them, but not quite yet. Okay, first I want to add a little bit of a railing here so that I don't walk or fall off the edge while I'm building. This is a little sketch. If I hear any phantoms, I'm dipping. I almost made it all the way around just this last little section. I hate being over the void, but this is going to be a lot more comfortable now. I'll make these corners look a little bit better by removing these three stairs and then putting chiseled stone bricks there. And I'll do that in every corner. Now I think we need some more birch to create kind of a cool entrance. We're gonna make sure that all of these are stripped, but let's build up here first. 
I'll add a little entrance arch with some oak planks and oak plank stairs. Yo, fighting phantoms is now a lot less terrible because I can two hit them with my new smite sword. Massive upgrade. Okay, that entrance looks kind of neat. Let's build up a little bit. I'll take some of these dark oak logs, then I'll tower up here and make a little bit of a frame. And then I think we go across with an arch like this. Okay, that looks like it could support something. Then I'll build up another staircase to a second floor. And then once we get up there, I'll put another floor in place as well with half slabs. Right, I'll just fill it in like that. And then we're gonna go up another floor. And I kept doing that for a while. I made the frames a little bit smaller each floor we went up and now this is the layout. I like it height wise, but it needs a little bit more tweaking. Start by building a platform up here on the top. I'm using a lot of these chiseled stone bricks because these are kind of free. I can buy them from the villagers. Whereas all the normal stone bricks, they come out of the cobblestone generator. So they take a lot more time to collect. Making it a little bit bulkier at the top definitely helps. Now we just need to make sure that all the walls in the floor in between, they connect properly. Oh, phantoms coming in. Smite is so good. Okay, last one. There we go. I just made a balcony right here, which I think will look kind of nice. But I think it's time to start filling in some of the walls. It's a little bit of a puzzle because I don't have that many block variations to work with. So I got to make sure that I come up with nice shapes for variation rather than textures. These stairs weren't quite it, but I think I have an idea. Okay, that is nice. And then in the middle with a 90 degree turn, that's a cool line that adds a little bit of texture and variation. Now I'm just sealing it up on the inside. That looks nice, but it needs some support. So I'll put some chiseled stone bricks on the bottom with stone brick walls on top of those. It's a decent start. I'm not too sure about all the oak though. Wait, I have another idea. What if we use some brickwork instead like this? I think that makes for a much more interesting palette. So I'll just invest some of my emeralds to buy more bricks from this guy and from this guy. I'm really glad I got two masons. Okay, and we make brick blocks. And then we can use a stone cutter to cut off some of them and make them into stairs. And now let's replace a bunch of the oak planks and put bricks there instead. I decided to leave some of the oak rather than taking all of it out, but here at the top I've added a lot more bricks. I think this looks a lot better. Let's check it out from my house. Actually, before we go, I want to do something that I've been planning. I'll put some dark oak logs here and then some stripped ones. I'll put some oak fences up here and we're gonna go up a little bit. It's kind of scary this high up. Okay, and then I'm gonna build out with leaves to the side. These are my temporary blocks. And I'm gonna use those to put a wool flag here. So we're gonna start out with the lime blocks. And then we're gonna put some darker green at the end. Okay, I'm just gonna bridge out. If something goes wrong, I'm gonna use my ender pearl. Okay. And now I'm ready to see what it looks like from my starter house. Actually, changed my mind, almost. Bear with me guys, I bet the suspense is killing you, but I wanna put some details with leaves and then oak trap doors as if there's planters here. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little bit of a spoiler. I'm gonna use so many leaves in this build, but not quite yet. For now, it's just tiny little details. Okay, and then here around the base, we'll put some planters in the corners. I think it'd be cool if they hang over a little bit like that. Okay. And now, no more suspense. I'm done. I'm done. We're gonna check out what this looks like. Before we wrap up, though. This was kind of epic, the progress today. I didn't have any villagers to trade with. Now I am fully kitted out. Diamond armor, diamond tools, diamond weapons. And I have a villager trading tower, which I'm absolutely certain we're going to expand on next week. And next week, we're going to start turning it into a build because there is no way that you guys believe me when earlier in the video, I said that I did not have a master plan. Of course I have a master plan. This looks kind of nice, much better than it did at the beginning of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week. For now, 
ลือนี้ out